Hi everybody, it's Brian from Brian Lens Real Estate. Another day and another video walkthrough tour of a house. Today we are at 45679 West Tulip Lane. It's in Maricopa, Arizona, my hometown. This house was built in 2005. There's 1,931 square feet. There are four bedrooms and two baths. There's a two car garage and there is a pool. Now the listing price is $469,000. Uh, the community is Maricopa Meadows and there is an HOA fee of $210 quarterly. The listing agent is Shannon DeBella, and to be upfront and have full disclosure, we're both members of Keller Williams Legacy One. She's a member of the Advantage Home Team, and I'm just an independent agent. So I want to thank her for letting me film this home. Uh, as you can see, the landscape is not great. The home will not be great either. There are some, it's not bad. I mean, but if you're used to watching the million dollar listings on this channel, right, you're not going to see it here. This home needs some uh, carpet cleaning and some painting, but after, I mean, that's it. And uh, some clearly landscaping. And that's um, not the agent's issue, right? It's really the owner's issue. And this is an investor and he didn't think he needed to do it. So we have weeds in the front yard and weeds in the backyard and some paint that the, the interior needs to be painted and the carpet needs to be cleaned for sure. But other than that, I really love the, I love the floor plan and I, you're gonna see that in just a second. So let's go. There are things I like about this home, um, even though the maintenance, the maintenance, and it's not horrible. I mean, this is not hard to fix. It's clean the carpets, paint it, but the investor didn't want to do that. So obviously he did a calculation in his mind that uh, he thinks the money spent to paint everything and clean the carpets would not be uh, worth it to him. To me as an investor and a real estate agent, I would sure as heck clean the carpets and paint. You're going to get top dollar. So we're in the uh, front room here. Like I said, I do like the, you know, again, this is just paint and carpets and tile cleaning, right? It's not that bad of a deal. I'm just a little shocked that it's in this condition because it doesn't take much to fix it, right? Especially if you're an investor and you know about real estate. So as we go through the living room, this is the um, laundry room area. Again, what I do like about DR Hoarder homes, you see a lot. As you see a gas hookup and electrical hookup for your dryer. Uh, as we spoke about, this is a two car garage. So let's take a look at that. It's a little bit oversized, not bad at all. And you've got a, a utility door to the outside of the, on your side yard, which is nice. You can see who used to manage the property. So the kitchen, um, they have quartz, or excuse me, looks like granite tile. It's a little dark, I've turned on all the lights. I believe the refrigerator conveys. Let's take a look at the cabinets. They're your typical staple cabinets. And that's the cabinet manufacturer. So I do like the open concept in the great room here with the kitchen. And an eating kitchen, as you can see with the uh, light there. What I do like about it is you see the pantry. There's no lights in the pantry, or there is, but it's burnt out. It's a decent sized pantry for this size home. Here's what I like about it. It's a four bedroom, right? And I like how they have the bathroom set up here. So you have a separate hallway here for two bedrooms. And again, if I was walking with a client, I would tell you, don't worry about the carpet. Don't worry about the painting. I would actually, you know, We'd negotiate some price off of this. But the other thing is it's it's not that difficult of a fix, right? And as a realtor, you can only ask your client to do as much as they're willing to do, right? So if they want to sell the house in this condition, that's what they're gonna do. So this is the second bedroom here. They're decent sized bedrooms. What I do like is, I don't know if you want to call this a Jack and Jill bathroom, but you see you have one vanity, which would be nice to have two here, right? But you have one, you have the toilet, and then you have your wash, and, you know, your uh, combination bath and uh, shower. Then you have your third bedroom here. So these three bedrooms really share that bathroom. 
as a, it's as it's almost a, a, a Jack and Jill. So I do like that about this floor plan. And I like the master bedroom too. It's nice and big. Yeah, I mean, um, I would not be, yeah, this is not a bad house when it comes to the floor plan. I'm just the, uh, the presentation, but that's not the realtor's fault. That's the owner's fault, or it's not even their fault. That's just what they choose to do, right? So we've got two vanities here, a separate tub, and a small shower, but it gets the job done. Yeah, the water closet there, pretty good sized water closet. And there's no, um, there's no, the light's not working in the, uh, Walk-in closet, but it's it's rather large So that's all the good things about I mean some of the good things about this house, right there are more but I do like the floor plan a lot And with some paint cleaning the carpet or even new carpet you yeah, this is not be this would be a nice house so Let's go to the backyard. It's a decent sized backyard and it has a pole, right? So You see it's it's already secured So again, the, pre the owner of the property didn't really care about landscaping much or keep it up with the landscaping once the tenants left. So it makes it more difficult to sell as a realtor, but again, you do what you can do. And you don't want to turn down business or clients. So out here, need some weeding, right? I do like the uh, the turf right here. The pool's nice. Yeah. So please like and subscribe to this because we're going to be doing a video every Monday through Friday, guys. I want to thank you for your time. And once again, this is Brian from Brian Lens Real Estate. My contact information is, you should see it in the first part of this video, but you should also have it in the description. Thank you for watching.